teams and viewers from all around the world, crowd cheering, adrenaline rush, and the excitement level. Everyone is anxiously waiting for the FIFA World Cup 2022. The opening ceremony will be held on Sunday, November the 20th in Alcor's Albite Stadium, having a seating capacity of over 60,000 people. The teams will play matches in eight stadiums across Qatar. Welcome to Futuristic Tech and AI. Today we're going to discuss the various technologies implemented in the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Let's start with the amazing air cooling system that Qatar installed in their stadium for the FIFA World Cup. Qatar is amongst the top 20 hottest cities in the world, which makes it difficult for players in the field as well as the audience to enjoy the game. Back in 2009, when countries were bidding to host the 22nd edition of the Global Football Tournament, Qatar's bid stood more unique than the others. Most countries present stadiums as a design idea and not a technology. Dr. Saud Abdulaziz, also known as Dr. Cool, presented the idea of air cooling and purifying the air of the stadiums. With solar power, as he once said, these cooling technologies use the same tools but on a much bigger scale. The technology is a combination of insulation and targeted or spot cooling. The stadiums are designed carefully to minimize the flow of hot air from outside. Whereas cooled air will out from the large nozzles on pitch and grills in the stands to make the stadium cooler, you can think of the stadium acting as a barrier containing a cold bubble inside. Air circulation technique is used to recool the air and filter it. Underseat diffusers will push air out at an angle to deliver it in a gentle manner, helping the audience enjoy the game and preventing allergies or pungent smell. The players will have the best experience of their lives, said Ghani highlighting how the chilled air would prevent injuries and illness suffered in extreme heat. The system is powered from a giant solar farm in the desert outside the capital Doha, with 40% more efficiency than the existing techniques and it's one of its kind. Already feel like buying a ticket for the World Cup? Now, let's talk about the artificial intelligence and other advanced technology Qatar is going to use for the World Cup. More than 1.2 million fans are expected to visit the country for the World Cup. Qatar has set up an Aspire Command and Control Center in its capital Doha, with hundreds of screens closely monitoring images flashing across their screens via 200,000 integrated units. From 22,000 security cameras spread across all eight World Cup stadiums. The system will use AI to keep an eye on spectators, predict crowd swells, and even control stadium temperature. Facial recognition technology and experts from cybersecurity to anti-terrorism to transport will be deployed at the center. More than 100 technicians will be working around the clock to ensure a smooth flow of games. Qatar has managed to design the world's first fully demountable stadium in the history of World Cups. The Stadium 974 is constructed using shipping containers and modular steel frames, which are fully demountable. The design also looks visually appealing and is extremely cost-effective. The match ball of the World Cup will use connected ball technology, which sends a real-time data to video assistant referee officials. Can you believe it? The ball has the new Adidas suspension system in the center of the ball, with a motion sensor. And this is the first time the World Cup match ball will feature this technology. The new technology uses 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of the stadium, which all track the ball, and up to 29 data points of each individual player, 50 times per second, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The 29 collected data points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for making offside calls. This World Cup will also use goal-like technology to determine whether the ball is fully crossed the line. The system uses 14 high-speed cameras mounted on the catwalk of the stadium slash under the roof. The data from the cameras is used to create a 3D animation to visualize the decision to the fans on TV and on the giant screen inside the stadium. Another interesting fact is the high-speed goal line cameras are dedicated and different from the cameras of semi-automated offside technology. Qatar has also developed a FIFA player app in collaboration with Fifi Pro. There are many other various technological innovations in the FIFA World Cup 2022, which will be seen including Wi-Fi and charging stations, navigation technology, handicap friendly, food delivery, and pickup, etc. Guys, they even have technology in the bathroom. Can you believe it? Let us know in the comments section down below which team you're supporting this World Cup. 
should we make more in-depth videos about the technological innovations in this world?